Okay, just a quick one. Um, about a year and a half ago, I found out that the greatest Power Ranger actor, at least, who's ever lived, uh, was pronounced, or at least found, or reported, anyway, dead on my birthday, so that was really, really happy for it. But I've just remembered that my son's got a toy that's actually quite cool and quite small and quite quick. So we're going to review that. And it is this. This is some little Imaginex y kind of figure. I'm not sure exactly what brand it is. Someone will tell me. Bristol's Rotate. Uh, universal joint in the shoulder. That's quite cool. Head rotates. Yeah. Uh, legs are together. But that's fine. Nice little thing. Missing the. Uh, Good old shoulder pad thing, but eh, it's fine. But you don't just buy this figure, because that'd be silly. What happens is, he actually comes with this. This little cool dragon sword, which does have storage for the dragon dagger, which he comes with. So let me just unpeg that from there. See that peg? And that hole. And he can carry the dragon dagger. And that's cool. Well, yeah, you can kind of pretend he does it. We'll look at the Dragon Zord. And it's a kind of squished down, weirdo, cutesy version, but it's somewhat accurate. I'm not going to complain. Look at that. Yeah, it's got all the detail in there. That should technically probably have some gold on it, but it's fine. Yeah, look at the little chest piece. Little Z. Again, should probably have gold on it, but it's fine. Little face. That's not bad. Now, if you want size comparison, I told you they were small, didn't I? Well, there's Legacy Drag Strip. And there's Legacy Wild Rider. Because they are still not a combiner. Uh, so, yeah, these are quite diddy. But this isn't just it. You don't just have him and he has his little dragon sword. And that's cool, because that, that's cool on its own. But no. Because they combine. Yes! So, for argument's sake, I'm going to take the dragon flute or whatever out of his hand, or dragon dagger, whatever. And we're going to go to the back here, and we're going to slide this tailpiece down. There's a little slot there, and a tab here. And we're going to rotate this handle down, and then turn the tail so it's straight. That's quite cool. I'll give him that, that's quite cool. And now with the rest of it, what we're going to do is we're just going to get it, and with that hole there, we're just going to put it over the top, and there you go. You can see his little face in there. He's got the armor plate, you know, the armor shoulder pads. So that's, I mean, it's a bit weird, but it's still kind of cool. But you can put the dragon dagger in that hand. And you can put this in that hand. Come on. It's a bit unwieldy, it's a bit silly, but it's cool. It's made that taller, showed this little chest piece, which, eh. I just think it's kind of cool. Honestly, I do. I think the tail's supposed to lean it forward a little bit so the toes are up, and then when it goes flat, the toes actually drop down. But, whatever. And just in case anyone's cared about the size difference, let's drag strip. So... It's still small, it's still ditty, but Green Ranger, man, come on. I love the little dragon dagger. I mean, alright, it could do some gold on it, but it's still cool. Is it gold or silver on the uh, little flute bit inside? I can't remember. I have to check. But, nah, that's cool. So, I know this is only a little quick one, but sometimes it's quality over quantity. Right? That's what that's what my missus always says to me. Ah, so I'm gonna scarper. So I should be really, I should be wretched. I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye bye now.